and plane as shown in figure. They are connected by a weightless bar AB. Full stop. Find the magnitude of force P required to hold the system in equilibrium. Okay. So rod AB is a two force member as it is weightless. Okay. No force is acting between A and B. Okay. So there is a no required to draw the FBD of AB. Okay. FBD of rod AB. So rod. So first of all, draw the FBD of cylinder A because it is a less number of forces is acting between acting on cylinder A as compared to cylinder B, okay? So just write down the sentence for that. Okay, so this one sentence, rod AB is a two force member as it is weightless. No force and couple is acting between A and B, okay? Hence FBD of AB is not required. It can be replaced by force FAB acting along the axis of rod, okay? It can be replaced by force AB acting along the axis of rod. So FBD of cylinder A should be considered first as it is a less content contains number of unknown force compared to cylinder B. First of all, draw the FBD of cylinder A. FBD of cylinder A. FBD of cylinder A. Okay. I will draw the cylinder A FBD. So this one it is cylinder A. I will draw X axis. So weight of cylinder A is 2000 Newton. It is given in example. So just self weight it is acted downward direction. So it will be 2000 Newton. Okay. So cylinder A is contacted to this inclined surface. Okay. So just remove this in, uh, contacted surface and draw the normal reaction. Okay. So this one it is normal line to the this inclined surface. Okay. So this angle it is 45 degree okay and we need to calculate this angle okay so how to calculate this angle so total interior angle it is 180 180 minus this 60 minus 90 it will be get 30 degree angle okay 30 degree angle so just remove this inclined surface and draw the their normal reaction that is r1 this that is r1 okay it will be this angle it is 30 degree. So this angle it is 30 degree. 30 degree. Okay. So if AB force it is acted here. So rod AB it is removed and draw the FAB force here. FAB force. FAB force. Okay. So this angle it is 15 degree to the horizontal axis. So this angle it is 15 degree. This angle it is 15 degree. Okay. If this angle 15 means this one it is also 15. This angle it is also 15 degree. Okay. If this 30 angle means this one it is also 30 degree angle. This angle it will be 30 degree. 30 degree. So apply the Lamis theorem. Lamis theorem. Lamis theorem. So 2000 divided by 2000 divided by the angle bit sine of angle between other two forces. Sine of angle between other two forces that is means R1 and FAB. The angle between R1 and FAB this angle. So how much this angle it will be? So total it is 180. 180 minus I will calculate this angle I will write here. So this angle it is 180 minus 180 minus 30 minus 15, 15. So it will be get how much? 180 minus 30 minus 15. So it will be 135, 135. So it will be at sine of 135, sine of 135, sine of 135 is equal to, is equal to FAB, FAB divided by, FAB divided by, FAB divided by, sine of angle between R1 and 2000. So this angle, R1 and 2000. So this angle, it will be 90 plus this 30, 180. So it will be get sine 120, sine 120. Okay. So write down FAB is equal to, FAB is equal to, FAB is equal to 2000 divided by, 2000 divided by sine 135. 2000 divided by sine 135 
sin of 135 into sin of 120 into sin of 120 sin of 120 okay so i will write down fab value here so write down fab is equal to fab is equal to 2000 divided by sin of 135 into sin of 120 it will be 2449.4 fab force FAB force, okay. FAB force. So now draw the FBD of cylinder B. FBD of cylinder B. FBD of cylinder B. Cylinder B. FBD of cylinder B. Cylinder B. So from this relation, it will get FAB value, okay. First cylinder, from cylinder A, it will be get FAB value. Now cylinder. B. First of all, draw the x axis. So, weight of cylinder B it is 1000 Newton. So, it is acted in downward direction. Cylinder A it is 1000 Newton. It is acted in downward direction. Okay. 1000 Newton. Then, FAB it is 15 degree angle. FAB. So this angle it is 15 degree. So this one it is 15 degree angle 15 degree and this one it is fab force fab force okay then this this one contacted surface to this cylinder so just remove this contacted surface this angle it will be so this one it is 90 so it will be this one it is also 45 degree so this one it is also 45 degree 45 degree okay so just remove this inclined surface and draw the normal reaction that is r2 r2 okay the angle with respect to x axis it is 45 degree so this angle it is 45 degree okay so this angle it is 45 degree Okay, then now P two P force P force it is acted here. P force. So P force angle it is sixty degree with the vertical. So this angle it is sixty degree with vertical. Okay. So first of all resolve this. All the forces acted on cylinder B. I will resolve this P force. It is in two direction. The angle with respect to vertical so that's why it will be p cos 60 in vertical direction and p sin 16 horizontal direction p sin 16 horizontal direction okay so this fab resolve in two direction fab resolve in two direction so fab fab cos 15 in vertical direction in horizontal direction it will be fab sine 15 in vertical direction okay the angle with respect to horizontal that's why fab cos 15 it is in vertical direction okay so this one it is this force okay so r2 it is resolved in also two direction so angle with respect to horizontal so it will be r2 R2 cos 45 in vertical direction and R2 sin 45 in vertical direction. Okay. So first of all, apply the equilibrium equation that is summation fx is equal to 0. Summation fx is equal to 0. If the force it is right side, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is right side, it will be positive. If the direction of force it is left, Side, it will be negative. Direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. Okay. So, first of all, this P sine 60 is going left side, it will be minus minus P sine 60, it is left side. Then FAB cos 15, it is right side, so it will be FAB, FAB cos 15, it is right side positive. 
R2 cos 45 is going left side, so it is minus R2 cos 45 is equal to it is zero. Okay, write down minus P sin 60 minus P sin 60 then minus R2 cos 45 is equal to so FAB value we know that 2449.289 into cos 15. So it will be so FAB value FAB value it is 2449.489 actually this one it is 489 489 so it will be 2449.489 into cos 15. So it will be 2366.024024024. So write down this one, it is equation number one. Equation number one. Okay. So now apply second equilibrium equation that is summation f5 is equal to zero. Apply second equilibrium equation that is summation f y is equal to zero. Summation f y is equal to zero. Summation f y is equal to zero. So here assumption: if the force it is upward direction, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is upward, it will be positive. The direction of force it is in downward, it will be negative. It will be negative. Negative. Okay. So first of all, this P cos 60 it is going downward direction. It is minus minus P cos 60 it is downward direction. And 1000 it is also going downward direction minus 1000. Then FAB sine 15 it is going downward direction minus FAB sine 15 it is downward direction. Then R2 sine 45 it is going upward direction. R2 sine 45. Sine 45 is equal to it is 0, is equal to 0, is equal to 0. Okay. So FAB, just put FAB value here. So first of all, write down known unknown values minus P cos 60, minus P cos 60, and plus R2 sine 45, R2 sine, R2 sine 45 is equal to. So minus 1000 minus FAB value is 2449.489 into sine 15. Sine 15. So it will be minus 1366.974. So take it as left side, it will be a positive 1633.974. This one it is equation number two. So solve equation two and one. Solve equation two and one. So I will write equation one. It is here. So equation one. It is minus p sine sixty. Then minus r two cos forty five minus r two cos forty five is equal to two three six six point. 0 to, 4. 0 to 4 0 to 4 actually this one it is minus so this value it is minus okay so we are taking it is right side so it will be get minus 2366.024 okay so this one it is minus value so just solve this two equation so uh, sine 45 and cos 45 this value it will be same just check. Sine 45 it is 0 0.707 and cos 45 it is also it will be get cancelled. Okay. So minus P cos 60 plus P sine 60. Cos 60 plus sine 60. It will be minus minus one point minus one point. 1.3660p is equal to 1633.974 minus 
point zero two four. So it will be minus seven thirty two point zero five zero five. Okay. So it will be p is equal to it will be get from this relation p is equal to minus minus it will be get cancel divided by one point three three six zero. So it will be seven thirty two point a one thirty two point zero five point zero five divided by one point three six six zero. So it will be five thirty five five thirty five point nine zero seven nine zero newton five thirty five point nine zero seven newton. This one is p value, okay? Nine thirty-five, okay? So it will get p value for keep it is in equilibrium position, okay? So magnitude of the force p required to hold the system in equilibrium. That is p is equal to it is five thirty-five point nine zero seven newton.